The PBA does not know what to do. Jason Belmonte is running scared. Why watch another video of him or professionals like him showing their elite skills when you can watch me suck at bowling? Hello and welcome to the second week for June 2021st edition of Watch Me Suck at Bowling from Merrimack 10 Pin Bowling Center in Merrimack, New Hampshire. In typical fashion, going from candle pin to 10 pin, the first game was very rough. And I mean very rough. Got a couple of strikes, but that was about it. Otherwise, a lot of poor frames. And we wound up with a 76. So how will things go this time? There's only one way to find out. Let's watch. Due to this place playing music, most of the audio will be muted. Here comes the first pitch. Not looking all that bad, and nice start. For those of you who like the pin setters, here's the Brunswick GSX clearing away nothing, and already setting down a fresh set of 10. And there you go. What will they add up to? Also, you'll be staring at pin cam most of the time because of those video walls as shown. First ball took down seven. El Stinko 2. Not the easiest spare to make, but it is possible. Here comes the ball. Somewhat heading in the right direction. And nine. So far, not that bad. We got a strike in one. And then a 9 and 2, which also makes the fill fairly solid 28. Three, three, ball one. Can we keep up the momentum? Let's find out. Here comes the pitch. Looking pretty good. And almost. We got 8. Ball two. The 4 and the 7. Fairly makeable spare yet again. Here comes the ball. Looks like a hair too far to the left. Just stayed on to get nine. Three, four, ball one. So far, we got a strike and a pair of nines. Can we do better? Here comes the ball. Way off. And three. Ball two. So far, it's not looking very great. So here comes the second ball, and this one is now off to the right, and double wood for eight. Those two frames weren't nearly as good. We got a nine and three, an eight and four, still a halfway decent 45. Consider who's bowling. It's time to put some marks on the board. Things are sliding backwards. Here we go. There's the ball, looking pretty good, and almost again, but nine. Ball two. If we aim to the left just like we did before, spare. Here comes the ball, looking pretty good, and there we have it. Frame six, ball one, I'll stick up. What will the bonus be? Let's find out. Here we go. There's the ball way off to the left, and El Stinko lives up to its name with a one. Ball two. On the plus side, very makeable spare. Here comes the ball, and it's off to the right this time, and a lousy four. Curse of the fill. This game is faltering. We did get the spare in five, but we got a lousy four in six. First ball only taking out one, 60. Can we save this game? Can we make it a mediocre one at best? There goes the ball off to the right, and with nothing, that sure is not helping. Ball two. Can we get the spare? In candle pin, we call this the Emily. Nothing in one, and everything in two. What will the bonus be this time? Hopefully better than a one. There's the ball. Little off to the left. And wasn't that bad. A nine fill. It takes about 18 inches of space to hit that pin. 
Sticky approaches, not so easy. There it goes, just too far to the right, we'll take nine. Those two frames put it pretty much where my average lies. I got a spare, and then a nine and eight, which also is the fill, pair of eights. Can we keep it at average skill, or even go higher? Let's find out, as the ball goes down the lane, a bit off to the left, and seven. We've been down this road before, in this very game. There goes the ball, off to the right, and clipped one for eight. Let's see if we can go out with a bang. Maybe higher than average skill according to my ability. There goes the ball, looking pretty good, and oh, Niner. Ball two. Much easier to get the corner pins in 10 pin than candles, but still, it's not easy. There goes the ball, and we got the spare. El Stinko. El Stinko wrapping up the game. What will we get? There goes the ball way off to the right, and surprisingly, we got a decent five fill. That didn't end all that badly. We ended with a score that I typically get. So we got an eight and nine, then we got the spare and 10, and then got lucky with that far right ball getting five for the bonus, 111. And that concludes week two for the month of June 2021st edition of Watch Me Suck at Bowling. Coming to you from Merrimack 10 Pin Bowling Center in Merrimack, New Hampshire, this is Georgia551 saying hope you enjoyed and have a good one.